weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Carson Marinin and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Another gorgeous day is underway across North Alabama as we close in on the lunch hour. There's that live view indicator on our Way 31 Skycam Network. Just a few of those thin, wispy clouds. That's all we're going to see today. Very comfortable out there. 76 degrees in Morgan County right now. But one thing you'll notice, especially as the week progresses, we're talking tomorrow and Wednesday, that humidity. It's not going to be bad, but you'll definitely notice it each afternoon. Temperatures look like like this. It's also 76 in Athens, Decatur and Coleman too. 75 right now in Moulton, 79 in Muscle Shoals, 72 in Scottsboro and 78 in Fort Payne right now. It's all quiet this morning on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. I do have very small shower chances on Wednesday and Thursday thanks to that humidity making its way back into North Alabama. But if you want to fire up the grill when you get home from work tonight, shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. 80 degrees by 5 o'clock this evening, dropping into the low to mid 70s to get towards 7 p.m. Should be a nice night for any outdoor plans you might have once you get home this evening. Here's future radar with those temperatures. A very quiet picture continues for at least the next 48 hours. We're in the upper 70s by 5 o'clock this evening, like I just mentioned. Mid 60s by 10 o'clock tonight. Mostly clear skies, so we'll wind up back in the upper 50s, close to 60 degrees once again tomorrow morning. So you might want a light jacket tomorrow morning, but again, like today, you won't need that jacket later on in the afternoon. We're back up in the mid 80s on your Tuesday. Maybe a few more of those thin, wispy clouds, pretty much a carbon copy of what we're going to see today. Well, we'll see it again tomorrow and then we'll cool things back down to the upper 50s, lower 60s on Wednesday morning. And you guessed it, more of the same as we head towards Wednesday afternoon as well. I mentioned that small shower chance we get towards Wednesday and Thursday. That humidity tries to creep back in. Not everybody's going to see rain and honestly, many of us will stay dry. The best chance to see a stray shower is going to be west of I-65, mostly dry, but at most if you're in the Shoals, Molten, if you're in our southern Tennessee counties, you might pick up around a tenth of an inch of rain with those spotty showers on Wednesday and Thursday. But again, a lot of us will stay dry and seasonable too. our average high for this time of year. 83 degrees. That's exactly where we're going to be today, and we'll just hover in that 83, 84, 85 degree range through the entire work week. Those overnight lows also staying seasonable in the lower 60s over the next five to seven days. So all in all, it's pretty quiet here in North Alabama. But as we all know, we are still in the peak of hurricane season. There's the latest information on Hurricane Sam. If if you are watching our morning newscast today, we were talking about Sam being a category four storm. The good news is it's now down to a category three, still a major hurricane, 125 mile per hour winds. The good news I can give you, Sam will stay well offshore of the United States and will likely just be what we call a fish storm. Just staying out over open water might cause some problems for Bermuda, but as far as direct impacts, we're not expecting any at this time. And that is certainly some good news. Seven day forecast again here in North Alabama, pretty quiet. Might see a few more clouds for the second half of the work week. Temperature seasonable with those highs in the mid 80s and those overnight lows in the low 60s. Matt. Thank you, sir.